back to the channel folks in this video I'll show you how you can run a message trace from the exchange admin center as you can see I'm currently logged into my lab account here uh, lab tenant and uh, this is the Microsoft 365 admin center and this is the exchange admin center uh, the trace feature or the message trace feature is a part of exchange admin center so you can get to it by just scrolling down and clicking on uh, exchange here and it's going to open up the admin center in the new window and we will expand the mail flow option click on message trace and then you can see there's the option to start a uh, trace uh, for this video demonstration uh, what I have done is I have logged into Outlook uh, again using the the global admin account that I'm using here to to get to the admin center so just open the the Outlook app, and I'm gonna send an email to Alex, who is uh, a user or a member of our tenant. Uh, as you can see, this is the user Alex Wilbur uh, with the, this as their primary email. So going back to my Outlook, uh, I have Alex Wilbur. I'm just gonna send them a test email so that there is some message flow to and from uh, from their mailbox, which we can then trace by using this uh, message trace uh, option in the exchange center uh, let's check our sent items and looks like it did go through so what I'm gonna do is go back to the exchange admin center again uh, under the mail flow option click on the message trace uh, click on the edit message trace and we will give uh, as much information I have so in this case we know for a fact that the sender was uh, AJ which is the global admin account and recipient is Alex and we're gonna keep it to two days uh, even though we know exactly how long ago that email was sent so if I move the slider to we can move it to six hours but generally I just keep it two hours uh, there's more things that you can fill in but I think these two are more than enough to yield a, a result so we'll click on search here and there we go we now see in uh, I think this is my time uh, 8 p.m. Uh, Atlantic Standard Time this was the sender and Alex was the recipient uh, he received an email uh, one thing I did want to mention is you can only see the uh, the subject of the the email uh, you cannot see or view the contents of the email and uh, looks like it's yet not delivered it's still being processed and let me just refresh this here now you can see the status changed to delivered uh, which means the recipient must have received it in their mailbox or inbox uh, just to see what actually happened with the email it was first received by the server so the this tenant server was submitted to be reviewed now this is where if you have any sort of rules uh, a bypass rule or spam filter bypass rule or forwarding rule uh, uh, let's see okay I'm just gonna run that trace again quickly sender was AJ and recipient was Alex search that email so what I was saying is if you look at, at the message events uh, you could see that it was submitted after being received by the by the server and this is where all the exchange rules will apply to the email uh, since there is none uh, it just submitted it and immediately after it got delivered to Alex's inbox folder uh, this place message events is used a lot and this can be used to troubleshoot a lot of uh, mail delivery issues uh, 